and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some of the highlights that were released in August 2021. This one is the list of paid systems and tools. In the last video I already covered the best free new assets, so go watch that if you haven't seen it. And in the next video I will be covering the top assets and effects. Let me know which one of these you're most interested in and I might do a detailed review on it. As always, there's links to the assets in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. And by the way, check out my own assets on the store. So far, I've made the free key door system, which is a super simple way to add keys and doors to your game, and the mouse cursor system pro, which is a very easy to use tool to help you create some custom animated cursors to really make your game stand out. All right, so starting off with a really awesome explosion asset called Easy Mesh Explosion. It takes your mesh, any mesh, and slices it into tons of pieces with physics. The effect looks really very satisfying. You can play around with all kinds of parameters, make it explode with a ton of force in one direction, or just break it and let it fall down. It's pretty cheap, so this would be an easy way to add some extra polish to your game. Then if you're a fan of factory games and you don't like to build your own, check out this complete template. Place down some machines, place down the belts and select the recipe. It includes a bunch of machines, tons of items and various crafting recipes. Also has a save load system. It uses Unity events and an abstract framework to make it really easy to expand upon. And this one is mainly a code template so it works with any render pipeline. I made a factory game quite a while ago and you can check the project files for that one, but if you're looking for a more complete template then maybe check this one out. Next up, if you need some water simulation, check out Flow. It lets you add large-scale interactive fluids to your scene, all highly optimized using GPU acceleration. And you can also easily adjust the simulation resolution, so this works on PCs, consoles, and also mobile. The result in the video looks really good, and it works on a massive map. It has underwater rendering as well, so you can dive under the water and the transition is seamless. You can create whatever fluid types you want, make some water, mud, oil, and so on. You can play around with all the parameters and change the color, viscosity and opacity. It also includes a buoyancy simulation, so you can place down boats on the water and watch as they move up and down along with the waves. This is definitely one I'd love to play around with and I might do a detailed review in the future. Another one that also looks really awesome is the Tile World Creator. If you're a fan of this tile then this one is an excellent tool. You define your tiles, either in 2D using quads or full on 3D, then you really just paint on a basic grid. You can easily save and load your maps, or you can also just generate them at will, so it gives you infinite possibilities. Very importantly, it also supports multiple layers, so you're not limited to just a single flat plane. And it includes 9 tile presets to start with, all of them look pretty nice. This one is actually the third version of this tool, so it has been in development for a very long time and you can definitely trust its ability. Depending on how you set up your camera, you can use this to build first person games, or maybe some top down action, or maybe some management games. Really interesting tool. For something a bit simpler and possibly very useful, here is an in-game text editor. It's a fully fledged editor you can use directly inside your game. So it works exactly like you would expect. It features Ctrl Z undo support, copy, paste, selection highlighting, line numbers, tooltips, and tons more. Some of the screenshots show it being used as an in-game code editor. There was a tool that I picked up quite a while ago that lets you compile C Sharp in runtime. So if you combine that with this one, then you can give your players a fully fledged code editor to be able to mod just about anything in your game. That's a really interesting concept, so I'd love to try out doing that exact same scenario sometime in the future. If you want to easily play around with your meshes, check out Sculpting Pro. Looks super useful for having some star assets and then easily creating tons and tons of variations to make your world feel much more unique. It works both in the editor as well as runtime, so this would also be an excellent tool to enable your players to easily customize some parts of your games. Includes a very detailed documentation so you can quickly learn how the tool works. And they even show a VR demo which looks very interesting. You are literally sculpting meshes with your own hands. And next up, if you want a tool to help you manage state machines, check out this state tree. It's a node based tool, so you define your states, define what they do and connect the dots. It works by extending a base class and overriding a bunch of functions, so it seems very easy to set up. For something related to audio, here is a dynamic music system. I must say that audio is not my main area of expertise, so I don't know just how useful this is, but the result shown in the trailer does sound pretty good. It reads metadata on your audio files, which you can then import into Unity, and using that you can layer various sounds on top of one another. 
So it seems like it's useful so you have fewer files, like just one big audio files with tons of tags instead of tons of cut up files. It can go from section to section, mix and fade between tracks, and try it all out without having to hit play. If you want something to help you organize your project, here is Project View Enhanced. It lets you color some folders, give them different icons and even a different style, easily edit the stylesheet asset, create your own presets, and easily use them with a simple drag and drop. It includes 150 custom icons for you to use. It lets you sort assets by their name or their type. You can add extra columns for things like file size, modify date, and so on, and even adds row shading to make it easier to read some big lists. Pretty nice, useful asset. Next up, a code utility tool. It lets you easily expose private fields so you can read their variables in the inspector. And then those values with that attribute can also be used to update UI elements. So this could help simplify your UI code as you're building your game, or simply let you easily build some debugging tools to see the state of your variables while playing the game. All right, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on the Unity Asset Store for August 2021. There's links to all in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Check out the full playlist to see some more lists with free and paid assets, and let me know if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.